Hi guys, it's 5 a.m. on a Thursday morning and I want to get in the last coat of varnish on the slats for the V-Birth before heading to work. So let's go have a look at those slats. Oh, and uh, please excuse the mess. I've got six coats of uh, this stuff on the slats by now and yesterday I knocked down all the high spots and tiny imperfections on the slats using some 320 grit sandpaper. So it's time to apply the final coat. And for the final coat, I won't be using this. I'll be using their satin uh, varnish just to give it that sort of matte finish, which I really like. This is the uh, satin varnish I just mentioned. And uh, for applying this, as with all of the other coats on the slats, I'll be using a foam brush, which I've never used before, but these are awesome. <laughs> I only managed to apply varnish to about half the slats. It took a little bit longer than I had anticipated. So the rest will have to wait for tonight, because for now I need to take Jokul for a walk before heading to work. Just like that, it's 7pm. I got home from work about an hour ago and I've already taken Jokul for a walk and grabbed some dinner. So let's head in and check on those slats. They're perfect. There's not a single imperfection or any kind of issues. They're just perfect. This of course comes down to personal preference, but I really do prefer the satin finish. To me it has a much warmer and, and more pleasant sort of glow. I am really pleased about how those slats turned out. I still need to varnish these slats. I didn't have time to varnish this morning, but I won't bore you with that. Instead I'll simply just snap my fingers and a few days will have gone by. BAM! It's Saturday morning and I've already loaded up the car with all the stuff we'll need aboard the boat today, so let's get going. I can't believe that's almost the last time I get to do that. Things are a tad crammed in here in the uh, car. Like I mentioned, today is a Saturday. It's the 22nd of August to be precise, and that means I've got eight days until I need to move out of the house, and that is not a lot of time. I think I'll do a separate video on the progress I've made in getting rid of all my useless stuff and just old crap. And uh, yeah, you should look for that video sometime next week. Okay guys, we're finally ready. The slats are out in the uh, cockpit. I've just cleared out the worst of the uh, junk up in the V-Birth. So let's go ahead and bring the slats into the V-Birth and start mounting them. I've stacked these in the order of which I'll need them. So it should just be a matter of removing the top one, mounting it and moving on to the next one. I think I have the first two slats aligned correctly, I think, but I'd like to make sure. So I'm going to mount these slats using as few screws as possible and if everything lines up then I'm going to put in the rest of the screws. It looks like everything lines up so let's go ahead and put in the rest of the screws. Okay guys, I know it's been nine freaking episodes, but I won't make you wait any longer. <laughs> okay, so the uh, heavenly choir, that might be a little bit over the top there, but uh, I think it looks good. Now, um, the uh, the mattress up there is the first of my two new mattresses, and um, I think it looks pretty good, at least the fabric. I'm not completely satisfied with the uh, shape of the mattress, but uh, it's okay, it's my first attempt. When I say I'm not completely satisfied with the shape of the mattress, it's these little bulges right here that I'm referring to. But like I said, it's my first attempt, and uh, I'm sure the second mattress will turn out a little bit better. I am so glad I can finally check off this task because, like you know, it's been nine episodes, so yeah. 
I'm still not completely done up here in the V-Birth. I still need to hide the uh, deck hole joint. I've got a plan for that. And uh, I also need to put up some lights because, well, I don't have any lights up here. And uh, during the winter, that's going to be real nice. But uh, this is going to be the end of the insulating the V-Birth series. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video, guys. See you. Jökull and I hope you've enjoyed this video. To be notified about new content, please click subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out the introduction playlist. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment.